right off the bat, we're just given the title screen. No opening intro or anything. Huh. Completely different, although I have a feeling that's going to change later on. You know, once we actually get this thing started. But... Oh. Wait. Hold it. I don't know what happened there, but anyway, greetings, ladies and gentlemen, Smiling Shred 4 here, and welcome to my brand new LP on Tales of Cisteria for the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, and PC. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I've been hyped about this game since the beginning of this year when it was first announced, you know, to me, when I figured out that it was actually a thing. Of course, it hurt me because, you know, I couldn't actually get the game when it was first announced because Japan exclusive at the time, and you know, but anyway. Being one of the newer fans to the Tales franchise, getting into it when Tales of Zillia, well, from watching another LP on Tales of Zillia, and then later playing Tales of Zillia 2 for myself, with you guys, which, for any of you guys that have been to my channel, well, seen that, didn't end up so well. But, uh, yeah, I'm a brand new fan to this franchise, and, uh, yeah, I'm really excited for the, this game. And I actually knew I had to play it for this game for a, a multitude of reasons. One of them being, well, this game celebrates the 20th anniversary of the Tales franchise, even though this is the 15th main entry, but, uh, eh, details, details. And also, with this being, this isn't obviously the 20th anniversary, of course, but one thing that also, uh, draws me to this is, well, the fact that it's on PlayStation 4. And again, I've had problems with the, the uh, Tales games on the PlayStation 3 because of Elgato reasons, or maybe just my PlayStation 3. Not very good, but I'm hoping to change things around with this LP, seeing as, well, it's PlayStation 4, I'm hoping it won't be so laggy as the previous games I've played, like Exilia 2 or Final Fantasy X, or anything like that. But I'm hoping for a lot of great things, especially since this goes back to its old roots of the original franchises back in the mi in medieval days, which is always a turn on for me. And of course, with this being a new LP, I do this as blind as I can. I can only free shoot a few things, thanks to, you know, the game's back cover and all. But, uh, also to, thanks to trailers, but, uh, for the most part, I will keep this blind as much as I can. As for bosses, well, that's gonna be completely blind unless, you know, things become a little too painful to deal with. In other words, only bring the guide if absolutely necessary. But anyway, I think I've rambled on for quite a while, like about five minutes as I'm recording this. Give or take, I'm not sure. But, uh, wait to see if we actually get into this game. So, you know what? I'm actually starting a new game. We connect to the PlayStation Store for some reason, don't know why. Let's see, battle difficulty. We got simple, normal, moderate, hard. I... I'm just gonna go with normal. Because, you know, attack input time, normal. Changes the amount of time available to input normal and hard attack combos during. That's the idea. What's that? This do? I guess I'll keep it on normal. Subtitles, obviously keep those on. Menu shortcuts, specify the menu to open with the orders. None. Equipment, items. I have a feeling items will be very helpful. Navigation. Yeah, I'll leave that fixed. Map camera rotation speed. Yeah, that's good. Change the direction of the camera that's controlled by moving left or right with the R while moving. Normal. Da -da -da. Should be good. Auto adjust. Yeah, that should be good. Library function? Sure. Valve control configurations? I can change the button configurations. That, that's good. Stereo, BGM, blah, 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 all that stuff. I think we're good to go. Uh, confirm the settings. I am okay with it. Do this. Let's see what we're getting ourselves uh, into. The Legend of the Shepherds. In a bygone age of myths, when darkness threatened to enshroud the world, it was they who reclaimed light from nothingness. Over and over, as the world plunged into chaos, the legend would come to people's lips, and they would pray for salvation. And lo, each time a shepherd would appear to vanquish the darkness once more. But with peace returned, it was never long before the shepherds would vanish. 
As for where they had gone, no one can truly say. And, as with all things, eventually they faded into legend. Now, once again, the world faced the threat of the darkness. This looks bad. Oh no, not the poor animals! <sighs> and the people began to speak of the shepherds once more. But alas, no shepherd came forth to guide his people to peace. collaborate with this game because I'm getting serious Kingdom Hearts vibes right now. Oh, wait a minute. I clever back to the 3D setting. Looks like things are going to start picking up now. Are we in the temple in the sky? Are we on Angel Island? The Machinized? Oh, hey, it's you. Alright, controls, all that stuff, yada yada yada. Basically the same controls as, well, almost the same exact, we know. Well, mo for the most part it follows the same control scheme as Exilia 2, I'll say that. Okay. Alicia, home of the Seraphim. Ah uh, yes, this game's little uh, spirits. Do you know what I mean? I see a star right there, so uh, I know where to go. Legend. Just like in that book. Yep, exactly. A hero brandishing the sacred blade. This mural is a depiction of the shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> About time I found it. Nothing on my end, Soray. Miklio. Looks like he beat me this time. <laughs> Ciao. This proves the Shepherds have been around since even before the era of Asgard. I knew it! Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. We still don't have definitive proof that this ruin itself is pre-Asgard. He's got a point. It could be an imitation. Seriously? You really think they'd make a fake ruin of this scale? Get real. I see darkness. This doesn't bode well. Wait, isn't that... I think our ruin adventure is over for today. Yeah, we gotta get going. The heartless are coming. I repeat, the heartless are coming! Come on! Sorry! Move it, dang it! Did... Do you really want me to be the reason that your people are extinct? <sighs> Yeah, that was too close. Uh, how did we get? Okay. Can I get a little help, please. <laughs> uh oh. Well, that was a short game. Eleven minutes long. Oh wait. Never mind. We're still alive. Where are we? Surging currents. No, we're alive. We're alive. We're fine. Saray. Oh. That didn't go quite how I planned it, but not too shabby. Am I right? Guess this makes us even. That it does. I give you A for effort. GG, my friend. Unbelievable. Who knew there'd be ruins underground? Oh. Good thing we fell down here. Right. Hey, let's try and find a way out of here. Hmm? 
Oh, yeah. Okay, then. It's the right conversation. I never knew the ruins went this deep. We'll leave the investigating for another time. We need to find a way out of here. Okay, McLeo. Or McLeo, however your name is pronounced. Let's find a way out of here. Okay, so out of the fan, we got ourselves pretty generic things. Oh, save game. Okay. Might as well do this real quick. You save data. Because knowing me, there's gonna be there's bound to be errors every now and then. Heck, my computer's already making those whirring sounds as we speak. And again, only 13 minutes in, give or take. Whoa! Oh man, what a drop! It's been nothing but heights all day. But I had an awesome bar relief to distract me. Yeah, I bet you did. Uh-huh. Hmm? It looks like someone's lying there. Wait a minute. Hey, Mikleo? Hmm? It's... it's a human. It can't be. Stop. We shouldn't involve ourselves with their kind. She's still alive. We can't just leave her there. Fine. I'll give what help I can. Let's take a look around the area first. Well, that was easy. But okay, I think I actually recognize that person. She's from the uh, cover of the game. Well, that map actions you can swing it. You can actually swing your sword out. Ah, my sword's all sticky. Ah, uh, cobwebs everywhere. I'd bet no one has set foot in here for some time. Okay, so we can swing our sword out battle. I have a feeling that's gonna be very handy for a pimp to strike sooner or later. Kind of like in Lightning Returns, with how you can hit him behind and get that 25% HP reduction. Not very handy. Let me guess. Spider monsters? What's wrong? Shh. Above, maybe? Yeah. It's huge! What is this thing? It's called a spider! Keep talking and get your sword ready! On it, on it! Okay, perform martial arts with a circle button. Perform martial arts with a circle button. The control mode set to semi auto You run towards the target until you are close enough. Blah, blah, blah. You create great your combos. And you can acquire new arts by leveling up. So general controls. Although, we have on for how to control. You know, a circle button. I'd you would think it'd be a square button, but no, apparently a circle button is the uh, action. Kind of odd. Wait. Hold on, it can't be a Hellion? A Hellion? For real? A what's the I've never seen one in person before. What could a monster like a Hellion be doing in a place like this? What the heck is a Hellion? It's getting away! Wait, don't you remember what Gramps told us? Huh? Gramps? Hellions? Hellions? Yep. Aliens. Horrible monsters that are created by the malevolence. They can only be defeated by the power of purification, which not but a chosen few can use. Plot convenience. Let that be foreshadowed. So if you ever cross so if you ever cross paths with a Hellion, just run as fast as you can. Remember, you two. Common folks like us don't stand a chance against those fiends. Ha! Cut it? Oh, if only Grabs could see us now. Just whip that thing's butt into thin air. I don't know what he's talking about. We can't beat a Hellion without the power of purification. Then we should just be glad we escaped it. And anyway, we have bigger problems. Hmm? We have to hurry and save that girl. Before something worse finds her. Like a giant tarantula? Encounters. In areas where Hellions roam, make contact with an enemy, will launch battle. By seeing a sword, you can get an advantage. Okay, so I was right. Square actually gets you that preemptive strike. And battle results, 68 damage, combo, EXP. Alright. I was kind of hoping for a little uh, 
Tales of Zilly kind of style, where after you beat the battle, you get a little, uh, conversation. Well, might get that later, but, you know, it's a little nitpicks. Treasure chest, you can find these in dungeons in the field. And they basically contain a bunch of items, from, Id from uh, healing items to equipment, etc, etc. And as I basically know all this stuff, I literally played Tales of Games before. Ancient earrings. Earrings are scattered among ruins, said to endow the wearer with an enhanced understanding of nature. And we can equip... Okay, like before, triangle button. For triangle to open the top menu, here you can check the character's HP, the red gauge, the initial SC, the blue gauge, and choose which characters join in battle, among other options. And on a menu screen, press options to view help for that screen. Great. Fantastic. For level 5, anything else? Battle actions. The ability criteria for acquiring an, for an unlearned battle action by highlighting that action. Okay, so it's kind of like Final Fantasy X-2, then. Uh, the more you, t you fight, the more things uh, get upgraded. The actions mark is auto, and the okay, action is performed automatically, yada yada yada. You guys can read that as much as you want to. I think I got the general idea. Auto guard, if able to control the character, will guard up to five times automatically. That could be helpful. Uh, snipe charge, defend for one or more seconds, and next potential attack. Front step. I think guard auto guard is a good thing. As well. Wait. Okay. Nope, never mind. I can only select one of these things. Oh, wait. So is this just... Oh, I think it's like skills then. That's probably what it is. So, okay, that's good, that's good. Uh, support talents? Snack of preparation, make snacks recover HP while on the move. Each character... No, snack preparation, character... Uh... about this. Uh, yeah, that probably might be a little more useful. And Miklio already has the snack preparation, so, uh, we're good. We're good. Equipment, arts. Can we do arts now? How do we perform these? Ah. And I don't have any arts, dang it. Okay, fine, fine. What about the equipment? That's the main reason we came here. Customize equipment titles, items enhance your stats, equipment titles allow you to learn new arts, etc, etc, blah blah blah. Each piece of equipment has four skill slots in, in, into which skills can be attached. Okay, I'm getting Final Fantasy VII vibes already. I'm getting so many Final Fantasy vibes just from this game alone. And it's not even 30 minutes yet. Skill in the first slot has preset for each item, da 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 da. Skill sheet, great. Spader type skill sheet. Uh, okay. Three methods of activating the bonus skills. Snack created by equipping multiple copies of the same basic skill. Okay. Elemental union created by equipping skills directly adjacent to each other on the left or right. Or group union by making them into a vertical column. Okay. It's perfectly fine to select equipment based on its routers, but by combining different skills, you may discover surprisingly inter effective interactions. Okay, so a little variety there. Um, can I go to items? Uh, equipment. That's what I was here for. Ancient earrings. Oh, another pair of ancient earrings. Oh, but this one has art defense plus four. Nice! And Rocklin resists defense devoid. Oh. And now my OCD4 grammar is going into play. Alright, alright, whatever. Is that a monolith? Is that a monolith? Apple Jill. Oh, sweet! You there! We won't be defeated. Bring it, spiders! Go for it! Show me thy strength! Now! Wait, what? What am I doing? Concentrate ah, wait, 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 Here we go, okay. That's that's what I was looking for. It's a free room option. Yeah, the Get, the thing. Get, Get over here! Hey! Come on, come on, then. come on, then. come on, then. come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby! Spirit Chain? Oh, it's Spirit Chain. Okay, Spirit Chain is the energy you need to create combos in battle. Maximum SC you have time, actually, such as martial arts. We'll consume your SC. Okay, so you actually do get those little uh, conversations then. I guess that was just a one time thing. Wait, where was I going? Ah, this. Open says me. Let's go. To the left. Completely blocked off. Nothing around here. And it looks like we're reaching another safe point, I think? Oh no, wait, it's just a spirit. 
So underground then. Or above ground. I know you hold Okay. Okay. Pretty quick. Another quick save. But yeah, so far I'm impressed. No long screens for battles. No lag. I'm already loving this. I'm giving it an 8 out of 10 just because of all that. Oh. That's where the other two came from. Let's do this! Guarding the square, guarding the lobby, degrading the two damage, and click my enemies, da 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 da. We'll cover SC. Okay. So watch, recover SC. Gotcha, 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 bro. Well done. Bring on! Bring on! Cool. Here. What? This is an Hello. Guard, guard. Give me that SC back, baby. Just now we did. Them off. Hit points. Basically telling you how HP works. Character loses all their HP. They're dead. Apple chill. Absolutely worth. Nothing over here. Is there a way to... Oh. I was wondering if there's a way to run. I like actually... No? Never mind, let's just move on. No monolith! Or, no Hellion! Back off! Back! Back! Take me back! Alright, we've almost made it. Yep, right there. Got web! Gimme, gimme, gimme! What you got? Ancient Circlet, Circle on Earth, and that increases the casting speed of Seraphic Arts. Seraphic Arts, I've got a feeling that's gonna be of use later. Ready, I'll grab that while we have a chance. Yeah, All right, you guys. Bring it! Yeah, I wonder. You guys are the same characters now. I know that's something I can do for as of now. I pray we do not encounter same. a stronger foe. Like a dragon. That'd be awful if it were a dragon. I would definitely be terrified. What's this? Hey! I'm oh, looking at that! What the... I'll be taking this. If you get too hung up on fiddling with it, we'll never get out of here. I'll give it back once we return safely. Oh, uh, fine. <laughs> if you Yeesh, say Mr. so. Mr. Always Serious. You can listen up quite a bit, I'm just saying. So close, but it's still so far. Think we could jump? Have only one way to find out. Oh, just press the X button. Time for a leap of faith! Sorry? Well... Seriously? You okay, can easily leap off from there! Hey, watch out! Don't scare me Dude, like that! Dude, you can easily leap Sorry from there! Sorry about that. Look, you just take it back, step right here, charge, jump! Well, we definitely can't make it And you'd barely make it! There should be a connecting point somewhere. Let's Man, go back you guys and see are no fun! Find. Why can't we have action right now? I want my action! I want some parkour! Hardcore parkour? Ever heard of that? No? Then it's just me. Me and my nostalgia. Alright. Where are we head? Nope. I mean, that's... Okay. Like, this is any better. We sure as heck can't reach it from here. I see. Huh? So that's the deal. Explain. Huh? Haven't figured it out. No, we haven't! Y yeah, I have. So I haven't figured it out, huh? Yep, there's a staircase there coming up from below. What? Who would have thought that you could walk in midair here? I'm gonna probably be an idiot for saying this, but number two, please. Who would have thought that you could walk in midair here? Or, that an invisible bridge would be here. Think it could support a person? Well, well. Aren't you sharp today? <laughs> hey! For a change. Psh. Oh! Nice one, my frosty friend. Found new discovery point enough. the invisible... Yeah. ...bridge. Discovery points, unique to each area are discovery points. In King of Place of Note in that area, when you know a point is close by, at the points location, use R to look around the area. At save points, you locate the scurry points. The L3 button probably may appear at the bottom left of the screen. Press it to begin a skit and enjoy conversations both illuminating and inane. Oh, I see. 
This bridge is incredible. How do you think it was made? I think this is beyond the capabilities of human technology. So, like, the bridge alone might date from the era of the gods? Possibly. But either way, they definitely had assistance, whether from Seraphim like me or someone else. They really didn't want anyone to reach the other side. The path ahead leads to Elysia. It stands to reason that they do what they can to protect the Pure Land. In the past, any pilgrims who showed up at the shrine probably thought the gap was simply uncrossable. Same as we did until just minutes ago. But good job picking up on that. Thanks. Your intuition is always impressive. Thanks. Oh yeah? For its rarity. There we go. I knew it was too Yeah, yeah. Every time he tries to compliment us, he always throw finds some way to throw it back at us. Ugh. Kinda reminds me of the kids at school. Uh-huh. It's you. Been a while. Ooh, pointy spear. Maybe we should rethink this. Hey. Uh, are you all right? Uh, well, she's alive. I was... I was in a forest, and then... Uh, uh sorry, this? buddy. Not a good idea, I don't think. Can I scare her off? Yep, she's human, all right. Well, that was random. Yeah. Glad you're okay. I'm sorry to have troubled you. And you are? Your name. Oh. Right. My name. I'm Saray. Saray. Saray? Yep, nice to meet you. Well met. Is there anywhere one could rest around here? I'll need to make plans to get back to the capital. You're from the city? Well... Um... Hmm. Why don't you come to where I live? I was about to suggest Saray, the same thing, are actually. Not... Are you sure that wouldn't be a problem? You barely know me. I can't just abandon someone in need. That's all. Haven't you noticed that she won't even volunteer her name? It's only natural to be cautious. Aren't you going to ask my name? Are you sure? Everyone has their reasons, but you don't look like a bad person to me. I cannot possibly thank you enough, Saray. <sighs> Great, no kidding. Let us have it when we get back. I know. Yes? It's fine. Yeah, don't worry about it. Anyway, that's the way out. Let's okay, get I've got a feeling. Oh, no, I got a feeling. Oh. And here I thought she was going to join the party. Shoot. Well, okay, I guess that would be a little revealing to her name, but, uh, that's a little unfair, don't you think? I don't want to have to remind you, but keep oh, your eyes relax. on the girl. Okay, but too bad we didn't meet in better circumstances. <sighs> you really don't have a skeptical ah, in your joke's body. on you! I don't know what skeptical means. Oh, wait. Ah, we made it back in one piece. Wow, it's beautiful. Like a shrine out of myth. Wow. I half expect to see Seraphim wandering around. You really do call them Seraphim. Is that funny to you? Nope. Things which cannot be seen or explained, such as gods, spirits, or supernatural phenomena, are revered by the people as Seraphim. Right? A quote from the Celestial Record? Ah! Bingo. You've read it too? Yep. Wait, you as well? Really? I used to read it what? all the time when I was a kid. It's a little ways from here to my village. Let's get moving. Wow, and here okay. I thought we were already home. Okay then. I'm gonna pause right here, guys, for a quick. 
So, All right, Ben. Uh, is the Celestial Record a children's book? Hmm? Well, I mean, you said you read it when you were a kid. Plenty of adults read it, too. I was probably just mature for my age. Oh, yeah? Huh. Well, figures. I mean, it is an amazing book. Yes. Well, looks like someone's enjoying himself. This is my village, Alicia. So it's oh. not Camlon, but Alicia, then. Then the rumors were false after all. Okay, uh, can we get a little, uh, discovery points? Nope. What was the button for discovery points again? I already forgot it. Or am I just not in the right spot? Uh, da, 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 da. oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, just speak. Dang it. Come on. Nope, not that. Wow. I've already forgotten. Oh, my. Yeah, okay, let's see. Library. Discovery points. Not that. Okay, da, da, da. Discovery points. Ah, art. The art button. Gotcha, gotcha. Searching for monoliths. Scared throughout dungeons and in fields are stone monuments, or monoliths. Written by persons unknown that detail lost battle techniques. After finding one, you can check its teachings at any time in the battle section of the system book. For each one you find, you will gain AP, which is necessary for setting ba battle actions. When you find one, press X to investigate it further. It appears to be wisdom pertaining to battles written in an ancient language. Quick step. Okay. Use a square left analog stick to the, or square plus that to quick step to the side allows you to evade top down stabbing attacks while still recovering SC. This is called a quick evade and it both lowers the enemies attack frequently and gives you a chance to counterattack. Uh, Be sure to dodge at the very last second, maybe earlier, and it will immediately count as a regular physical dodge, not quick evade. Okay. Oh, so that's it then. Wasn't a discovery point, but that. So be it, then. Where are we going? Alright, then. Uh, is there anything around here we can... Oh, there is! Alright, get one chest! A life bottle. Oh! We got the revise of this game. Uh, delicious, good old uh, Phoenix Down del delicacies. Nope. Uh, hey, I just... Rosemary. Boosh art tech power by new increasing damage inflicted by hen arts and seraphic arts. Also restores our HP and SC apparently. Okay. My man, this place is so beautiful. All this. Now the great running game that's not, you know, glitching. I can actually partake in this. I actually can enjoy the scenery quite a bit. Well I'm curious to see how the cities look. As again, this is a uh Game set up in the medieval time, back to the roots of this game, uh, to the franchise. So I'm kind of curious to see how this actually looks. Alright, I think we discovered everything there. Now let's actually head on the way to our actual location. And good thing the star actually points the way. Ooh, are those antelopes? Or jackhammers? I don't know, whatever they're called with the curved horns. What are those creatures? What do you mean, creatures? They're goats. That's why I was right. Are they usually this big? Uh, yeah. Have you never seen a goat lady? A new discovery point. Island goats. The Elysian goats. Horns. Just like the dragons of legend. <laughs> what, like in fairy tales? Or something else? Don't go near it. There's no telling how dangerous untamed beasts like those are. Ah, don't worry. We're friends. Oh, well, mostly. They did kick me four or five times when I was little. Your friends? Yep. Sometimes they give me milk, and I make cheese and yogurt with everyone. The mark of true friendship. Yeah, it's the best. Yeah, so I don't know what you're talking about. You calling my best friends, you know, monsters or dangerous creatures. The nerve of you. Animals are love. Animals are life. You need to learn your place, army woman. And we're back, apparently.
What was that? I'll go report this to Gramps. Guess we can't keep quiet about all this. Coming by um, afterwards? Yeah. No. That's the first part, I mean. Not hey everyone! The, got know. someone to introduce to you. Uh-oh. I got a bad feeling about this. Just putting that out there. This is my family, living here at the shrine. My lord! Yeesh, I thought the Akaro was this, big. Is uh, this, some kind of performance piece? Huh? No, uh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. You're an odd duck, you know that? I guess. That's my house. You go ahead and rest. I've got something to take care of. May I have a look around the village? Well, go sure, right ahead. but don't cause trouble. Of course not. I'll behave as if I were in a shrine to the Seraphim. Yeah, exactly. I'll try not to make any waves. <laughs> oh man, I sure hope Mick Leo's chat with Gramps went over well. Well, I've got a bad feeling about this. So, we live at a shrine. Already this guy seems like a combination of Jude and Mila. For you guys to play Zillia. The Seraph Kine. Sorry, I knew, knew I keep saying it, but you've got to be careful with those aliens. You might be able to drive them off, but you can't do away with them for good. It's a pity. But we Seraphim don't have the power to purify them. Yes, it is a shame. Seraph Mason. You get it, don't you, Sorry? We're invisible to humans. Just the fact that you can live alongside us like this makes you pretty special. Oh, because we're human. Wait, if these guys are invisible, then... Oh, that explains it. I hate to be the one to say this, but you should send her back as quickly as possible. It's, it's the best thing for everyone concerned. Okay, so that explains what uh, the lady was on about. Uh, she's like, um, is this a performance piece? Uh, apparently we cannot, the humans cannot see Seraphim. Okay. How natural and untouched a place. I never imagined such a dwelling could still exist in the world. Yep, that's nature to you. That's the, uh, common thing here. Now then. I'm assuming that Gramps house is gonna be right here, as he, uh, pointed out. I already see a save point, although not too concerned about saving right now, uh, maybe later. Oh, wait. Gimme, gimme. A waistcoat. For normal man allow allows for warm and flexible movement in cold environments. Is this what I think it is? I wonder. Nope, does not change his appearance. Dang it. Moving on. Climb the ladder. How about in here? A bed. Okay, this is interesting. Bed. Let's see the ah, cross is way up there then. Well, everyone, brace yourselves. I got bad feeling that we've got a long lecture awaiting us. And by long, I'm giving about five, ten minutes tops. If this goes badly, anyway. And I'll let you hear the rest from Soray himself. Speaking of the devil... I reckon I'll have to. Yep, he sounds mad. Alright, get the popcorn ready. You idiots! Eee! Hi, Gramps. I'm back. How could you bring a human into our domain? Easy, Gramps. Didn't you say you'd listen to Soray's side of the story, too? That's just what I'm about to do. Pipe down, young man! You know full well the rules, Soray. How could you break them like this? I'm sorry, Gramps, but I couldn't just leave her there. Her kind is sure to bring nothing but trouble to our domain. Yeesh! You sound but like I'm the her end of kind the world. too, you know. 
You were raised along with our kind, which nurtured in you the ability to perceive us and converse with us. Normal humans have no such capacity. You should understand that more than anyone else. So why don't we teach them well, then? Well, it is true. She doesn't appear to have any resonance. But Gramps, this is the first time Soray's ever met a fellow human. Perhaps. But if she can't see or hear the same things we do, she has no business in this realm. Ah. Uh. I have raised both of you as my own since you were but babes, all the while doing my best to protect this land. And for that I am grateful. And I did that because the time draws near when you will both serve to protect this shrine, just as all the others have done. Our priority is the peace of Elysia. Any intruders, no matter how harmless, must be cast out. Yes. Then it's time she left. Can we at least give her time to prepare for her departure? Hmm. Just make it quick. Thank you. That's all we need. And this departure is going to take about 30 minutes to put together, Perhaps. I assume. I know, I know, McLeo. He means well, in all things. And that's the very reason why I'm so worried for him. Alright then. So let's see how she's gonna take this. And first we give her the permission to sleep in our house. Wait for her in your room. That sounds like a stalker phrase, just putting that out there. But okay. Hey. Hey, wow! Is this crest what I think it is? Yep, this is the mark of the shepherd. Ah. I know it! The chosen one who communicates with the seraphim controlling their incredible powers as if they were his own. The Shepherd! <laughs> Sound like your kind of thing? Maybe. I always thought that Mankind's Savior would actually look a bit more imposing. Be silent, Seraph Beast! I shall not. Hmm. <laughs> Excavated relics aren't play toys. True. She certainly is taking her time. I'll see what's up. Um... I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, and there she is. Hmm. Enjoy yourself? I sure did. But it's weird. I felt like I was being watched the whole time. You don't say! Uh, uh... Shall we eat? I'm sorry. I feel like I'm going to faint. Let's head to my place. Moving along. Gosh, I hope we didn't worry him. Hmm? Oh, uh, nothing. Welcome in. Have at ya. Hey! Hmm? So then, what's your hometown like? Well, I'm from the capital, Lady Lake, in the Kingdom of Highland. Lady Lake? Like in the Legend of the Sacred Blade? You've heard of it? It was in the Celestial Record! Duh! The legend says the Lady of the Lake guards the Sacred Blade, and the one who draws it becomes the Shepherd, right? Yes. It was a lively and bustling town, blessed with bountiful water, rich in festivals and fine drink. Wait, was? What happened? Well, it used to be. 
Things must be hard for folks in the world below. Below? The land that lies beneath the mountaintops. I've never left home before. You've always lived here by yourself? Sounds to me like you're the one who's had it rough. <laughs> oh, let me help you get ready for your return trip tomorrow. You need anything? Bread, rations, stuff like that? That'd be great. If you have any tools or a sleeping bag, it'd be great too. Gotcha. Well then, first we'll need to do some hunting. I'll be your guide tomorrow. Thank you so much for everything. Uh, not to complain all, but, uh, didn't we have to say he wanted her out quick? Good morning. Good morning. Come on! Hurry it up, Mikleo. We ain't got time to mess around. Yeah, I'll leave in a moment. <sighs> Gramps gave me all kinds of things to take care of. I'm gonna be pretty swamped for a while. Bummer. Well, don't you worry about me, at least. So, Ray? Gramps only wants... Yeah, I know. Nicleo! Maybe later. Sure. Golly, Good asylum. morning. You sleep okay? Yeah, like a log. Been ages since I've done that. All right then, shall we? The prickle boars lurk to the left of the entry gate. It's an ideal hunting place. Got it. Alright then, let's be on our way. Time to get ourselves some prickle boars. Uh, sounds like a combination of boar, cross, hedgehog, or porcupine. And as I say that, that's probably what they are, aren't they? Foreshadowing by naming. Hi goats, how are ya? Do you have any fresh milk for me today? No? Okay, maybe later. I really can go for some cheesecake right now. There's Aww, a Aw, he's so cute! So that's one, huh? Their meat is easy to preserve when smoked, and super tasty. You're not! And the skin has all kinds of uses too. I almost feel sorry for it. As do I. No, my spirit is prepared. Besides, I can't get this sort of experience back home. Okay. Oh, come on! It looks so harmless! Oh, and more showed up! Okay, okay! Not good, not good. Hey, pretty smooth move. Thank you. You're rather capable yourself. Oh, we're just beating up a poor animal! This is animal abuse! I'm not as many monsters like spiders, but... Really? Oh, now you get a free one. Now we learn this. And just like... Oh, L2 and a less stick. Okay. That explains a lot. SC cannot be recovered while using free run. Okay. We got some pretty good hides, and our equipment proficiency has increased. Okay! Still though, did we have to kill Guess all four pickle boars? They look so innocent. I don't They're see so any cute. around. You'll find him if you look. Oh, uh, matter of the hunt then. Alright, alright, alright. Come here, little pickle boars. Come on, pickle pr 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 Uh, sorry about this little guy. Whoa! He actually charged at me. Uh, what? Alright, mash it, mash it. I'm used to holding down the button. Hey! Sweet dreams! Sweet Christmas! Have I truly been of use? I would say so. How many of these things do we need to hunt? Like actually. Yeah, there are eight pelts. Okay, we get. We grabbed five already, then. So we only need three more, and uh, that should be in the next uh, group encounter, hopefully. So let's go find ourselves some prickle boars. Even though this really, really hurts me. I mean, seriously, I said this a minute, I already know I'm rambling about this, but they're prickle boars. Sure, they may, they may sound dangerous, but they're so cute! I am ready! 
Now they actually, you know, attacked us. In, like they, they, they willingly chased us, attacked us. Like if they were rumored to, you know, like bite the people's legs off. That'd be one thing. You know, that I'd be fine with doing that. If they hurt humans, then I guess it's worthwhile. But still, all I know is that these these guys are hunted, hunted for sport, like elks. It's kind of sad, really. Square button. I am ready. Seriously though, why? That's, that's also one thing that's already bugging me. The fire and the plans are not the exact same. Portal button in this in battle. That's how you attack. Square button though. Hmm. I think we've hunted enough. So now what shall we do? Don't worry. I'll teach you how to make jerky and bags and sleeping gear out of it. Of course we will. Let's head home for the day. All right. Still can't freaking run. Which bugs me still so, so much. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's get this on. Let's go! Also, I appreciate a little uh, skip travel thingy. You know, speed up the process. Hey, how far is it to Lady Lake? Let's see. I expect about two or three days. Three days? Really? I had no idea it was so close. But the forest at the base of the mountain is surprisingly easy to get lost in. Must be the power of Gramps' domain. Huh? Oh, nothing, nothing. Uh, forget I said that. Just forget about it. For forget about it. Oh. Battling the Prickle Boars. Saray, your sword technique is eclectic. Which school are you from? Which school? Excuse yes. me? Isn't there a name signifying the style? Your swordmaster's name, perhaps? Hmm. I guess mine would have to be the Pricklebore School. Pricklebore School? For me, it was food. For the Pricklebores, it was survival. Every day, me and them. A never-ending life-or-death struggle. You really are a child of nature, aren't you? But it was those days that taught me how to fight. There's no better teacher. No more exacting taskmaster than the humble Pricklebore. Thus, Pricklebore School. You got it. Though I guess I should say Tuskmaster. <laughs> okay. Now, as I was originally going to do here, uh, things are going pretty smoothly. Had one little uh, issue earlier, but that's already taken care of, and uh, hopefully you guys didn't notice much of it. Ray? Oh, did I wake you? Sorry about that. You're sure into that book, aren't you? I've read it countless times since my childhood. One day, I want to explore ruins all over the world. Everyone who's read the Celestial Records says that, and I'm no exception. But sadly, now is not the time for some jaunt around the world. For several years now, the world has been plunged into a nigh-incomprehensible state of chaos. Chaos? Mysterious illnesses, incessant storms, people bursting into flames. Jeez. There are those that say, even the dead have begun to walk the earth again. Whoa, hang on. What are you talking about? You don't believe me? Or you think this is a joke? Both. No, I... The situation is beyond grave. Huh? The chaos has caused abnormal climate changes all over the world. As a result, we are on the verge of enduring widespread crop death, famine, and starvation. And worst of all, are the rumors of governments planning to replenish their dwindling resources through war. Well, that was freaking fast. It mustn't fast. come to that. Can nothing be done? Who knows? There's nothing to hang on to but legends. Which is why you... No, never mind. I won't ask. I think I'm gonna just hit the hay here myself. Sleep well.
Good morning. Good morning. You ready to get to work? We gotta make those rations and bags from the prickle boars we hunted yesterday. You got it. <laughs> Afraid it isn't exactly super fun, though. Well, let me know when you're ready to start. Hey, I'm ready whenever you're ready. We've literally got nothing else ready? to do. I'm ready. So, what do you need me to do? Well... Sorry for putting you to work like this. Oh, I'm pretty used to it. With your help, I'll be able to leave tomorrow. Thanks so much. Back yeah. to Gramps? Great. Well, better rest up for tomorrow. I ought to let Gramps know. Wish I'd asked her more about the world below. Yeah, I probably should have. But alright, looks like your adventure is about to get started, it looks like. It's only been 56 minutes, give or take. But uh, we're almost ready for this. And I'll make sure to end things off when things are starting to get heat up, heated up, because... As when it comes to RPGs, they can tend to have the slowest starts. And uh, this game is no exception, from the looks of it. Hey Gramps, she says she's leaving tomorrow. I see. We'll all be sure to see her off. After all, one must always be hospitable to one's guests. Even That's... though she can't see you. Is that a, is that a grin of happiness, or is that like, oh, why me? Because I cannot tell. It, it looks the exact same as either. I really owe you. Thank you so much. You gonna be okay by yourself? I cannot cause more trouble for you than I already have. I see. <sighs> you'll be fine. Just follow that map and you'll get through the forest with no problems. Oh, it's not that. I believe you. Alicia. Huh? That's my name. Alicia Difta. Yay, she trusts Alicia? us! You didn't even know who I was, and you helped me without asking anything in return. Whereas I thought only of myself, leaving you without even a name by which to call me. As a knight, I am ashamed. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. Ah, It's okay. I must confess something to you. Hmm? I know this sounds strange, but I believe that the Seraphim really do exist. The myths and legends that are preserved in the Celestial Record must be more than mere fairy tales. Yeah. This crisis that has befallen our world, I believe only the ones spoken of in the ancient legends can truly restore order. The Shepherd, you mean? You're not going to ridicule me? Everyone back in town does. Of course not. You're a real saint, you know that? The Sacred Blade Festival is soon to commence in Lady Lake. A trial will be held based on the legend of the Shepherd's Sword. A trial I think you might be interested in. Me? Time to go. But please, give it some serious thought when you have the time. How come? The shepherd I see in my mind when I read the legends. I have to say, he reminds me a lot of you. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're gonna make us blush. What's this? Gramps asked me to go out and search the ruins and find some clues about that girl. I've been down there looking. So wait, this is Alicia's? This is the crest of Highland. I don't think this Alicia is any ordinary knight. I know this is difficult for you, but it really is for the best. Gramps? Hmm. Someone has infiltrated my domain. Blast and damnation! Hide in your presence, are you, crafty bugger? Everyone, be warned! There is an intruder in our realm! Find them! They've concealed their presence! 
so chances are good it's a Hellion! Search with extreme caution! We'll go too. Very well. If it is a Hellion, quick measures must be taken. I'm counting on you. I have a hunch we'll find it around the forest. Good idea. Well, then we have an objective. Alright then, da -da -da, I... Okay then. Better get a move on. So an intruder in the base. Hmm. Either A, it's gonna be a boss fight with a Hellion, or a boss fight with another knight that was tracking us somehow. You guys place your uh, bets in the comments down below. But yeah, I think we're actually coming close to the end of this first episode. Pretty long one, but uh, you know how it is. So let's see if we can get down here. I really do wish that the running was a little faster though. Just just putting that out there. I mean, we do get the winged boat. I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. Oh. Okay. We're just getting this. Let's see, da da da. Here's to be wisdom pertaining to battles written in ancient language. Difficulty settings. Okay, of course. This thing lets you enjoy battles with relative ease. Enemy stats are lowered, but they attack less. They attack less frequently, and some of our aspects of the battle system are simplified. Basically, yeah. In case you guys are too cowardly, or just want an easy break, maybe you don't have items, maybe you couldn't save. Okay, uh, in case you couldn't save before, then that. What? Mason! How what are... the heck? I didn't expect to find anything but the main course here. What? But now there's two more side dishes. Ah! Vampire! What on earth is this thing? Is this the Hellion? This is not the place for one such as you. Leave at once. Or suffer the consequences. <laughs> Impudent brat. I can smell the fear wafting off of you, those tender arms trying to conceal their shivers. Saray! Mmm. Aren't you a succulent treat? What? Did I stutter? I'm saying I'm going to eat you. As if. I can take you! Bring it! Here to meet your doom, Hellion! You're going straight to hell! The heavenly toward on the arts menu at least with hit R with X. Wait, can we do it now? Oh, okay. Uh, boss? Arts? Now we can actually do these. Automatic, heavenly torrent, hit R comprised of an up force slash. This one. Can lift art. Can lift. Lighter enemies from the ground. Okay, I kinda like the sound of that. Let's go! Yeah. Heavenly Torrent! From Hidden Arts with the X-Bun. Combos combining both martial arts and hidden arts are possible. For instance, you can use a hidden art to target an enemy's weakness before following up with a martial art. You can use up to five hidden arts in combination with L in the arts menu. If you have nothing set in the top slot, press the pressing X will let the system choose from any of your learned hidden arts. Three. Okay. Now ready? Bring it! There you go! Come on then, come on then! Yeah. Heavenly Torrent! Alright, so far so good. All I have to do is things are just gonna get much harder. Sooner or later. Come on! Heavenly Torrent! There you go! It's Gucci! This isn't over! Okay, guarding. Now you know! Now! Heavenly Torrent! Uh oh, combo! Heavenly Torrent! Stay down! Vampire Fiend! You're all talk, aren't you? Still haven't had enough yet? Be gone! At once! <laughs> Mason! Hang on! He... He ate Mason! Is... Is this what Hellions are capable of? Away with you, evil being! Or you want to take us all on at once? Hmm. I shouldn't be snacking anyway. Not when the main course is getting away.
Mason. We can handle the rest. Gramps, that fox-looking thing. Was that really a Hellion? They can talk to us? Yes. That's the form of a human who has become a Hellion. Corrupted, essentially. Well, dang! Humans can become Hellions? Now, it's time you went back home and rest. We should. Come on, let's head back. Right. So, it begins anew. Not bad. 427 max damage. Combo of 36 was our best. In one minute. We have 4.7, land that may hit, yada yada, great. And our proficiency was increased, and we got a Windmaster Talisman for Tempest. Okay. Hmm. What on earth did it come here to do? How odd. I didn't expect to find anything but the main course here. <sighs> Not when the main course is getting away. Wait a minute. Was it going after... her? Hey, the village for the land below. Okay, then. So we're on our way, but, uh... We're at about an hour in. I think I'm going to cap things off right here for this first episode. Uh, we've done quite a lot today. And uh, hopefully next time I'll be uh, a little more interesting. But anywho, until then, thank you guys for the first episode of Tales of Zestiria. If you guys did enjoy, as always, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. If you, if you did enjoy, make sure to also share this video with your friends. And of course, if you're new here to the channel, and I want to see more Tales of Zestiria as it comes out daily because I'm definitely covering this entire game. Then make sure you have subscribed and join the Dread Knights in the fight against the Hellions and whatever may la lay uh, below in the land of below. Either way, until next time, this is Smiling Dread 4 signing out. Have a great rest of your day, take care, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow with some more. Tales of Zestiria.